Today we shall reflect on the life of Saint Athanasius. A native of Alexandria, Saint Athanasius was probably the son of prominent Christians. He received a brilliant education in the city, a great commercial center, and most important emporium for ideas. Even as a young man, he was conspicuous for his wisdom and acumen, as well as for his deep piety. When still only a deacon, he was chosen by Bishop Alexander, the Patriarch of Alexandria, as his secretary and theological advisor. And in the year 325, he was taken to the Great Council of Nicaea in Asia Minor, which condemned Arius as a heretic and reaffirmed Christ's divinity. There, he became a sincere and courageous mouthpiece for his aged archbishop, who had remained crippled from the tortures endured on the rack during the Galerian persecution. When the latter died in 328, Athanasius, although only 33, was unanimously elected as his successor. During his 46-year reign, the Arian faction came to gain such high political influence through its intrigues at the imperial court that the saintly patriarch had to spend a total of 17 years in banishment, being exiled from Alexandria on five occasions. Undaunted, he remained through it all the ardent and fearless champion of Christ's divinity. Far from seeking revenge, he tried rather to win his enemies through kindness and always retained his spontaneous sense of humor, which could also on occasion be penetratingly sharp. Athanasius against the world sums up the position of this religious genius, the father of orthodoxy and scientific theology. Throughout 50 critical years in Christian history, he was the chief defender of the integrity of the Catholic creed. Although he longed for martyrdom, his last years were peaceful and he died at the age of 78. The most famous of his many writings are on the Incarnation, which he composed in his early 20s while still a deacon, and the History of the Arians, written during his third exile among the Egyptian desert monks. His life of Saint Anthony made an enormous appeal to men everywhere to lead the ascetical life.